What's up guys, this is Irving. This is my Strandberg copy made in China by Grot and they go for about 300 online, you know, probably more with uh, taxes and shipping. These guitars are really lightweight, you know, it feels like a like a toy right now, like it's, it's really lightweight. And um, if you can see right here, the craftsmanship isn't really that great. Um, I guess if you see this metal piece, and I don't know if you can see it, but the wood piece, they're both not flush. This isn't flush with the neck. You know, little things like that, and then the frets right here, like this right here, I had to file them all down so that way when I was playing it wasn't cutting me. And, you know, same thing on the other side. That was like a really big issue with, for me with these things. Like, I, I hate when I play guitar and like, you know, those, those frets aren't finished. So they cut you, and I have to do that with each one. And another thing is the intonation. You know, when you play an open string, and you play, you know, probably right here, the octave, um, or just anywhere, it's not tuned as it is with the open string. So that will require for, at least for me, since I play E standard and D standard, you know, not like the other guys, they play lower and, and above or whatever. Um, so for me, I'd have to drill holes to move this bridge forward, you know. Um, that's what I came to the conclusion, at least, to just have like a good intonation. And um, this, this thing just feels like a cardboard, it really does. And, you know, I'm scared to drop it. Um, it's really just like a backup guitar for me. And see right here, if you look, there's this piece right here, it's an Allen wrench. It's like a key that comes off. And basically, wait, where's the camera? Here it is. Um, you just put this right here and use this you use this to tune. You know, you twist it clockwise or counterclockwise to tighten and etc. Vice versa. Um, <laughs> and this is just like a really weird bridge. You know, it's it's really not that cool. Um, I've never played a Strandberg and you know they look cool and you know if it plays great fuck it you know I'll, I'll own one. I'm more of a Jackson and Ibanez type of guy, Charvel. Um, but the bridge is really weird on this. I don't know how it is with the you know the Strandberg ones. Um, I imagine they're the real deal obviously. Not a piece of shit like this. Um, I bought this real cheap from someone on Craigslist. And, um, you know, I'm just going to do return the favor, you know. If someone wants to buy this, they can. I actually fixed it, you know, as far as the frets go. That way you don't have to deal with that bullshit. And, um, you know, as far as intonation goes, it just depends what tuning you're going to do it in. And, like I said right now, it's set up for, you know, D standardish. Um, it also doesn't have this uh, back plate, but overall it, it plays great, you know, like, you know, I'm over here talking shit about it and, you know, roasting it. But... See, like, I don't even use this key. When I tune it, I just, like... C standard or something, but shit ton of gain or just gain in general and not that much cleans like it's it's great you know if you put like a really high output pickup and if you got like a high gain amp you know you're good to go you know this is a great backup guitar um you know i'd probably choose something else at least until i can figure out the intonation issue 
Um, but whoever built this just put it together really fast. And, you know, if you come across one with a really good price and you just feel like, you know, buying shit, you know, fuck it. Just buy it, you know, buy it for a friend as a joke or, you know, as a serious deal. Like, either way, you know, I'm talking a lot of shit about it, but it, it plays all right, you know. It's not that bad, you know. Just, you know, is it worth 300 bucks? Uh, I don't know, you know. That's up to you.